Hi, my name's Deborah, and you're through to late night chat. I imagine you'll be wanting a refund. Why? Of course. Greetings and salutations and welcome to the last video of 2022 on the Cardboard channel. Uh, I know this is going out on New Year's Day, so Happy New Year and all that, but for me, it's still um, 2022. Technically, I have managed to get this video filmed, just not uploaded before the end of the year. Um, so I'm sorry about that. I know I tried to get this video out before the end of the year because it makes sense. The last video touting up the cost and all that but um unfortunately as you can tell i do sound like edith out of still game pain of guinness i do your delicious and that <laughs> so when six pony <laughs> well you might wonder if i would be bobby and alter his prices either <laughs> <clears throat> if you get that you have good taste in comedy um but yeah welcome to the last video of the year and it's the one that I both guiltily look forward to recording and at the same time hate recording and dread doing this video because we don't talk about the cost on the channel all the way through the year. We just ignore it. It doesn't exist. It just happens. Money appears from nowhere. And then, oh, look, there's the parts. And we don't talk about the cost. It doesn't enter our minds whatsoever throughout the entirety of the year it all just happens um so i have sat down i have done the list i have done it in this rather fetching little book that's my daughter's um even lights up look at that look does that you can, can you see that i don't know if that'll show up on the camera look look at that lights up and everything a wee bit of happiness before we get into the misery so yeah I just want to say, by the way, I, I, I know this has become a tradition now to do this, so if you own a project car, and quite a few people do that watch the channel, let me know in the comments how much your spend was, if you're brave enough to sit down and do what I've done and write it all out, I'll just cover that up, but here it all is, all written out there, all ready to go, um, so I have split it into different categories, <clears throat> we'll talk about that later on. But we will do it as we do it last year and the year before. We'll go through what's been spent exactly on Scarlet. That includes all fluids, parts, all that stuff. So we'll go through that first. However, I've just remembered I have missed one thing out. And I need to get the cost for that. I don't know how I've managed to miss that out. It was quite a big expense. That's probably why I've missed that out. So abrupt edit incoming now. Blame me, that was abrupt. Right, I've got it written out. We're ready to go, so shall we begin? If you're sitting comfortably with a nice drink of whatever is your favourite flavour or poison. Mm -hmm. And if you are indeed a vapist, then feel free to vape away. Let's begin. <clears throat> the entirety of costs for Scarlet in 2022. Starting off with probably the the best purchase of the year to be honest and this one is why youtube is so fantastic and the internet is amazing at itself the jackson racing intake system for the 1.8 liter engine on a mark one mx5 the rarest of rarest parts you cannot buy them anymore um they don't make them they won't make them i've asked they won't do it so to cohen over in belgium so you are the legend of the year when it comes to offering up the number one part needed. You have made the year for me for that. Um, he got in touch with me back in the summer um, and basically said, I have this, would you be interested? And it's like, I will bite your arm off for it. And thankfully, he went for a reasonable price. I was a bit iffy about putting the price in but <laughs> Cohen sold it to me for converted into our money 241 pounds that quite frankly is a steal for that part now I will admit I have had to buy a couple of little extra bits to 
you know, make it work in that along the way, but eh, it is what it is. That alone was worth every penny. To get the <clears throat> hot air intake away from the exhaust and turn it into a more cold air intake for Scarlet was absolutely excellent. So, yeah, that's the first one for the year, £241. Next one up... <clears throat> A very small expense at one point was the rubber grommet kit that I had to buy earlier on this year. That was due to the fact that there is some holes in the firewall um, after removing the AC kit and I never blanked them. So I had to go and spend £15 on a grommet kit. I've still got the full kit bar two grommets that I've had to put in where the heater matrix went. Um, that is... Yeah, quite expensive for two tiny bits of plastic, I know, but, you know, all these costs add up. Um, another one was exhaust paste. That was £14.47. We'll get to why I had to buy that in a minute. Uh, I've also, to keep this a bit shorter this year, I've grouped all the fluids together. Um, so, basically, that's um, oil... Uh, all the stuff for the servicing parts, all that sort of like fluid wise, that's all in this one. So that came to a grand total of £89.70, which isn't too bad. Uh, next thing on the list, the reason why I had to buy the exhaust paste, and I'm going to insert a clip right now. <laughs> I said in the best drive of the year, however much I paid for that, it wasn't enough. And that's partially true. Because it cost £542.94. If you say that quick enough, you can convince yourself that, yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah, it's expensive for a manifold. It's a lot. Uh, but is it really? I mean, I could sit here and justify it till I'm blue in the face. But let's be honest. <clears throat> the sound of Scarlet's exhaust now, with the Cobalt back box, the manifold from Cobalt, and the Racing Beat cat that I've got installed, it just sounds hilarious. It never ceases to make me laugh when I get in this car. After a couple of corners, and then once you just floor it, uh, in any gear, at any speed, it's hilariously good fun. It's one of the main things that I would recommend anyone to get done if you buy one of these cars. I know it costs a lot of money, but it is absolutely worth it. Every penny. £542.94. Yeah, it's a lot, but I really don't care. Um, I'm not going to sit and, you know, go all sour over that one. It's It was worth buying that uh, for just the sheer... Hilarity. It really does improve it. Um, the, obviously, it, improve, it improves a certain amount of throttle response. And the back box... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. My, the back box actually does sound even more rich and there is more zing. Because obviously it's full stainless steel now front to back. No, it, it's just incredible. The best, probably my best personal purchase this year. And it's something that I've been wanting to buy since I bought Scarlet. So it was like saving up and saving up and saving up. And finally I bought it. And it was early on this year. It's worth every goddamn penny and then some. Next thing up, exhaust bushes. Because after the stainless steel exhaust was all fitted front to back, we are getting the odd rattle. So I bought quite a few bushes, uh, poly bushes in particular, just to sort out the back box because it was leaning too much to one side. So, yes, it turned out to be a gigantic waste of money, but it does hold the exhaust much more rigid. Those cost £53.90. That was rather a lot that I didn't expect to be paying to be honest but I mean while it was a bit of a failure of a video that one because I didn't really fix what I wanted to fix which was the fact that Scarlet's exhaust sits at a wee bit of an angle um, it has helped manage the rattles more than anything else which is the main thing just if you follow Scarlet you see she's, she's got a wee bit of a, an angle to her exhaust eh, adds to her charm uh, next one up this one I didn't even cover this or talk about this talk because it was such a small part the actual gear knob on Scarlet, the original one that the car came with, 
fell apart this year. Before she went in for MOT, literally two weeks before the MOT, I came out here and I was cleaning on that. I just went to move the gear knob and then bang, it just came off of my hand. I'm like, what the? So a lot of searching online to find the exact one because I like the one that's on Scarlet just now. That cost £14.99. pence. I also think that if I had put that in for MOT, it would have failed because you can't have just the spindle there. Um, it needs to be solid on the gearbox. So, yeah, it is. And that, yeah, while a wee bit more expensive than I would have liked, eh, it was fine. Uh, next one up, this isn't a part. This is a kit of polishing. Uh, I bought a Meguiar's polish kit to try and shine up the paintwork earlier on this year because it had got quite cloudy in places so I went and bought what I think is the best kit that you could get at the time I know people say different things I'm not going to go down that alley we'll be here all night but <clears throat> I paid £40.99 for a Meguiar's in a restoration kit uh, it is what it is. It can normally can cost more, it can cost less. Just depends on the time of the year, if it's on offer, if it's not on offer, where are you buying from. It varies all over the place. Cost me £40.99. And to be honest, it did a really decent job. It was especially on the the rear of Scarlet on the bonnet. <coughs> not the bonnet, the boot. That was quite heavily it's like a patina, if you like. That it was it's like a really dull sheen. So I mopped it and now it's come up looking like brand new again so i actually need to do that to the front bumper because it's starting to dull a bit after it's had its paint job a while ago so i'll need to do that again in the new year but i fucking hate polish and i can't stand it it's horrendous uh, next thing up <coughs> was wiper blades i had no idea how spending such a small amount of money could actually improve a driving experience in the rain in particular because Scarlet's wipers were shot to bits and I went and bought the set off of MX-5 parts I can't for the life of me remember the name it doesn't even actually say it on the invoice when I was looking it up it just says wiper blades <laughs> so uh, I know that you get them on MX-5 parts they're really good I uh, the videos on the channel as well for when I actually fitted them I think I mentioned the brand and everything in that video so if you go look that up they're the best wipers um, I think you can get for this car. They cost £25.93. Say that quickly and let's move on. Uh, the bonnet lifters. <laughs> you want to hazard a guess at how much those were? Uh, because I was a bit surprised that I spent that much on them. For two rods to lift the bonnet and keep it in place, £45.94. Again, again, I, it is what it is. I'm not that bothered. It's, I've spent that money on worse, on other things. So, you know, I'm not going to grumble too much. Uh, the exhaust gasket and blanking plate, because this is the only thing I meant to, <coughs> I meant to put this up at the top of the list actually next to the the cobalt manifold. You don't get the correct uh, gasket, and you don't get the blanking plate that you need for the 1.8 manifold now you would think when you're paying 542 pounds and 94 pence for a manifold you would get the gasket and the blanking plate you do not you have to buy them separately and those cost me an additional 35 pounds and 58 pence so technically speaking the manifold pretty much cost 600 quid all in and that's just for the manifolds that's not including the racing beat cat which is the next item on our list and I am um, I really don't want to tell you this one <laughs> this one cost here I'll just put the happy lights on the racing beat cat cost 323 pounds and 86 pence that's how much it cost. That's a lot of money to spend on something just because I can't be asked having to jack Scarlet up every year to take out a decap pipe and put the old cat back in. To be honest, the cat's shot, right? The original cat was shot, so I would have had to have bought something anyway. I know this sounds like I'm purely trying to justify that amount of money on just a catalytic converter that isn't a full cat, it's like a racing cat, so it breathes easier. 
three hundred and twenty three pounds and eighty six pence. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I, I don't, that one doesn't sit easy with me. Out of all the purchases this year, that one's probably. That's the only one that oh, I had to dig a bit deep to get that one, to be honest. It was. Yeah, it wasn't great. Uh, let's move on before I have an aneurysm. The next one up, uh, these are tools. That I had to buy. I had to buy the rivet kit for when we did the bonnet struts, which was a waste of bloody money because I didn't use them in the end. Uh, but they cost £24.95. I had to buy a exhaust hanger remover. That cost £16.35. That was when I was trying to change over the old worn out bushings that are holding up the exhaust. Uh, and they were also held up with cable ties naturally so that's all been removed and been replaced with the polybus ones anyway so that's fine and i bought a dremel to do the jackson intake um, to modify it slightly that cost 31 pounds and 99 pence we also have a set of coolant hoses that i had to buy now i didn't film this i don't think i made this kind of public knowledge when i fitted the intake made a bit of a hash of it in many ways and I did mention some of it, but I don't know if I mentioned the hoses or not. Basically, the hoses on the front of the engine for coolant were quite heavily perished and done in. So I had to buy replacement ones for those. Those came in at a rather modest £36.67. Whew, yes, I know. Very, very cheap indeed. And the final big part of the year <coughs> which now you can decide this one for me right this is the one i forgot by the way when i started the video i totally forgot about this because the weirdly enough that's why i always thought this was dodgy and it took them weeks to ship this to me i ordered from carbon miata a set of turn signal i ordered from carbon miata the tsis that are full-on led they look absolutely stunning personal opinion i know people think that they're different but when i ordered them the receipt i got came from ebay and that's why i couldn't see it in my uh, my history when i was adding all this up that's just when i get in scout there i went where's the tsis oh hi <laughs> well, that's why um <clears throat> i managed to find it there and i've got the exact price so a racing beat cat cost me £323.86. The Carbon Miata TSIs... I need this again. Put the, the lights on. £321.99. Yeah, I actually just... I don't know if you can see that on there. I don't know if I can see it. It's right down the bottom there. Basically, three hundred and twenty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's a lot of money for two wee bits of plastic, but it does look good in pictures. <laughs> it's a lot of money. I can't, I can't deny that. It's a lot of money. Uh, I mean, I, I was sitting feeling uneasy about the um, about the, the racing beat cat. But really, I don't know, maybe I should be a wee bit more uncomfortable with that. But carbon me out of stuff, oh, it's always so bloody expensive. Yeah, it's because it's quite nice, but I mean, the price is shocking. Ridiculously overpriced. So, we've only got a couple of items left. Uh, and a big story about two of these items. So, we'll cover the last cheap item. Which is a wiper arm for the passenger side that I had to buy very recently, in fact, in the last couple of weeks. I was going to do a video on it, but, you know, it's one bolt, job done. It only takes two minutes. So I thought, ah, there's no point making a video on it. Um, <clears throat> it is £17.64. Now, the last thing that we need to talk about... I need a quick drink because my throat is going... So, the last thing that we need to talk about... In the summer of last year, this is 2021, 
I thought I was being ahead of the game when Scarlet developed a crunching noise and I put her in for a new clutch. And at the end of the year, that came to about 300 quid. And I was, that was, you know, a lot, right? Just to get that done. But I thought, it's done now. Big expense that we didn't want, didn't need. Uh, but thankfully, as I said in the video at the end of the year in 2021, we're not going to have to deal with that again. <laughs> Summer of 2022. Scarlet redevelops the grinding fault, and as it turns out, it was the throwout bearing that wasn't replaced during the initial clutch repair, which is a small part, which costs not a lot of money, to be honest. Um, it's like 30 quid for the part, right? That's all it costs. But it's going to cost you a lot more than that. I will tell you how much more it's going to cost. But for the throwout bearing and the pilot bearing, those two parts weren't changed when my clutch was done back in 2021 at my what was then trusted garage. But thankfully, a nice chap from Dumbarton called Jonathan, after I went online near in tears, got in touch and said, bring it over to me and get the parts, bring it over to me on this day and I'll fit it for you. Um, I, again, I was delighted. So I went on to MX5 parts. I ordered up the pilot bearing and the throwout bearing and said, is that all I need? Yeah, 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 that'll be fine. Perfect. Now, MX5 parts are normally absolutely spot on for postage, right? Usually absolutely bang on. I ordered this a week, this a week before the parts were due. It, before the the date of the actual booking was due. Sorry, lost my place. Um, so I sat waiting for a few days. Nothing shows up. I go, that's a bit weird. I ordered them on the Saturday. It's now Tuesday. They aren't here. Contact MX5 Parts. No, no, we've already sent them. What do you mean you've already sent them? No, no, we've sent them. Okay. Uh, well, I'm... I'm up Shit Creek here. I need the car on Saturday and it's going in for its repair on Friday. You know, what am I going to do? Um, it's not their fault, to be fair. Turns out it was the Royal Mail's fault because they didn't deliver it. Although apparently they did, but they didn't. According to MX5 Parts, they have an invoice that says it was delivered, but I don't have anything. Nothing at all. And then, lo and behold, cut the long story short, I then discover that it was just not delivered. And then it appears like a couple of days later, after the event, so I've unfolded. So what did happen? Well, after this had all fell apart, on the Wednesday, I contacted the great guys down at Autolink, which is down in the borders of Scotland. Um, and I said, look, <coughs> sorry, it was on Thursday morning, I phoned them, because the car was due in on a Friday. And I went, look, do you happen to have a throwout bearing and a pilot bearing for a Mark 1? Well, of course we do, of course we do. Um, I went, would it be okay if I actually came down today and picked them up? Um, of course, yeah, that'll be fine, but I mean, it would be much cheaper for you if you just, you know, got them delivered. I could send it and it'll be there the morning. And see, to be completely honest, the guys at Autolink are top notch because they're in Scotland anyway. Nine times out of ten, you do get the parts the next morning. I mean, you can order it at three o'clock in the afternoon, bosh, next day it's at the front door. Um, now, no, look, I, I, I'll need to come and get it because the car's going away first thing in the morning. Um, I'll need to come down today and get it. So, for a £30 part, and I actually had to go and get the receipts, and I kept the original receipt. Remember we had the massive issue with petrol as well, towards like into the summertime? Well, it cost me, for what should have been about £30 worth of parts, for the clutch parts and a tank of petrol to get down there and back up. One hundred and forty-five pounds. 
pretty much on the nose. I just rounded it up. I think it was £144.97 or something. So it was 3p at this point. £145 for basically £30 worth of parts. Yeah, I was annoyed. And that's not the final kick in the proverbials. The final kick in the proverbials is how much it cost to get Jonathan to fit the correct parts that should have been fitted in 2021 when I was charged over £300 for the original clutch install. He wanted and rightly deserved to get, I'll point that out and I stress because it's fixed and it is working, touch fucking wood, it's working. He did a good job um, and I trust him. Uh, he rightly deserved every penny of the 160 that I had to give him. But this is the sour bit. Again, I'll stress right now, he was a great guy. Right, great guy. I will take my car back to him if ever I have a problem and I don't know what I'm doing. I will I will message him and say, can you help? Um, <clears throat> this is the second, although. It cost in total to get the clutch sorted again in 2022 another £305. <sighs> it's a gutter. I'm not going to lie. And I hate using that term. I'm not going to lie. But it's a gutter. It's an absolute gutter, that one. I, I, I couldn't believe it when I was adding it all up. I knew it was expensive at the time. I knew it was a chunk of money when on the day when I was doing all the driving to go and get it because literally phoned them in the morning and I'm down there at three o'clock in the afternoon. I, I treasure trove Autolink is and the lovely guys as well. Um, props to them. Uh, they were great. Uh, although trying to get up to their unit is another story. <laughs> but the, the locals don't like the idea of you being there, I don't think. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. That's not the end of the story this year because, as I say, I've split this into categories. So that that is everything that was spent purely on Scarlet. Now, as this is a hobby, and part of this hobby is making the YouTube videos, everything that goes on in here, all that stuff. So I have created a second category this year because you know how I'm forever banging on about the rust. And I want to get the rust dealt with. We're going to have, you know, eventually I'm going to have a rust fund and all that. I do now have a rust fund. Um, but that rust fund was started at the beginning of this year, but it kept getting eaten into either by parts needed for Scarlet and for things that I wanted to buy for the YouTube channel. So I have created a second category this year because it's part of the hobby for me. Uh, the hobby of owning a project car and talking about it and all that and talking to you and everything else it's all one big hobby so this year in particular i have had to buy quite a bit of gear and it's not that i've had to buy it it's that i want to buy it to make the videos look better sound better all that good stuff um <clears throat> i don't want everything to look shit and i definitely don't want to just be filming it on a gopro i'm not being a snob when i say that it's just i want it to look good right especially when we're doing um car meets and all that i want it to look the part so we need to go back to me and the gaff and i will explain what it cost for that oh inception thanks me you really have done a good job with an absolutely screwed throat um yes hi welcome to the hub where everything happens obviously you've seen it in the live streams now um obviously as i was saying there i don't want to make it snobbish in any way this it's just that i've long since start started doing youtube for i want a space that i can work in where i can edit the videos more comfortably so for example i've got a chair this one here you can see it cost quite a bit of money um about 300 roughly speaking uh this microphone that i've got down here this is 200 and odd quid um the camera that i use to do all the filming on nowadays that's all done on oh, by the way uh you'll not see it there but i'll show you here the gopros just died laugh out loud um so i'm using my phone instead for this but um 
yeah, there's a lot of gear. It's cost a lot this year, so this is money that's come away from Scarlet, to be honest. Um, the camera is £800. I've got another lens for that that I bought this year. I've got a prime lens. That cost a lot of money as well. That was 300 I think. The mic is 250 All the screens, all this setup that I've got in here. There you are. So now you can see what I use. Um, that all cost quite a bit. I will reveal how much the entire cost is in a minute or two at the end of the video. But yeah, I mean, in order to do live streams on YouTube as well, which we've just started doing with Reese of the Lone Ranger, I needed a better setup as well. So, you know, it's taken money away from Scarlet, but it's went into the channel. And that's another part of the hobby for me, making the videos, making the content, helps with my mental health, keeps me sane, all that stuff. And it's a good laugh. So it's money well spent at the end of the day because the content, I hope, looks better. Uh, sounds better as well I've bought other microphones and other bits and pieces um, so I hope that that all helps towards the betterment of the channel um, and it's towards the betterment of me because I can sit here I can edit away quite happily um, and it's much more enjoyable than just having a laptop but I will stress you can do YouTube basically on a phone and then edit it all that way you don't need to have you know all this going on over here you don't need it but uh, I'm a geek. What can I say? Anyway, back to me and Scarlett for the final reveal of the costs. This gonna be fun, right? Right, so with that now done, it's time to do the final count-ups. And this is the bit that I really don't look forward to. So, I have got the total for how much has been spent on the channel, and that's... It, it, it is a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how much that is right now. Um, but what I am going to do, and I haven't added up yet, is how much was spent exactly on Scarlet. So if you will afford me a minute, I shall add this all up. So here we go. <laughs> Plus thirty one ninety nine. Right, I've added all that up and I've kept the screen covered so I can't actually see it. So I'll let you see this and then I'll add the two totals together and we'll get our prime number. So this is exactly how much was spent on Scarlet for twenty twenty two, and I'm going to make sure only you see this. Right, hopefully you can see that. Now, I don't think I actually said a guess at the start of this video. Now, I'm going for a grand total this year of about 3,100, right? That's how much I'm thinking is acceptable at the most part. So, if I open this back up... Oh, great, my phone's went into lock mode. At two, zero. Right, there we go. Right, I've hidden it again. Right, so... That's the Scarlet total. I'm now going to add the amount spent on the channel, which was 2,000. Yes, you heard me right. 2,000. 181 pounds, 72 pence. And that equals the grand total for the year, which is there. And the amount is... I don't know if you can see that. I said about 3 1. Oh, no. Two grand on Scarlet alone this year again. No fucking way. Was that two grand? I never. So, so that was two one, right? So that was two one. 
Fucking me. Scarlet was over £2,000 this year as well. She was even more than last year. And that's before you had the channel shit. <coughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit oh she's going to go off a rocker when she sees this video because she will she'll watch this you know who I'm talking about she'll see this and she'll print screen it like she did last year and send me it and say that you can't talk about money again yeah there you are for those that uh, maybe don't know what that means, the entirety of 2022 spent on this YouTube channel and Scarlet on my hobby altogether was, I can't say it, I can't say that, was more than the price of Scarlet alone to buy four years ago. Four thousand. I can't see the amount. I can't see the numbers. It was four thousand two hundred and forty-eight pounds forty-one pence. Tree, look happy. Rainbows, 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 rainbows. We need to be happy again. Look, glowing rainbows. It was over four grand. There we are. That's all you need to know. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fucking dead. I set a, a target or a budget for like two grand all in and that's it. I mean, all right, fair enough. The car alone is two grand, but there is a serious point to this. This is a disease. Don't get into this game. That is the warning. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, we're going to have to stop there. Um, yeah, so as it's New Year's Day, Happy New Year and all that, um, there will be another video on the channel in the next couple of weeks detailing how I'm bankrupt and we'll be opening up a buy me a coffee Patreon and um, I'll be desperately trying to get to a thousand subs to get uh, AdSense on the go but uh, <laughs> oh shit uh, yeah I hope you have a good new year um, I'd I don't think we'll be spending quite the same amount on Scarlet this year. But we'll talk about that in the next video. The good news is, and I think I didn't factor in, is that there is a Rust Fund. That Rust Fund does have money in it. It's a few hundred pounds. If you add that in as well, it would actually be nearly five grand. <laughs> because that money's basically sat aside for the Rust. So, yeah. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this one. I have. Let's do it again at the end of 2023. <sighs> Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> Bye. A fucking four grand. Fuck me!